Hello, and welcome back. Today we're back on the cabin build. You might be wondering why I'm on the floor. It's because I'm working with this floor today. The bathroom floor. Right there behind me, that's what we're working with. So anyways, yeah, today we're, uh, we're working on the, <laughs> the bathroom floor, framing that all out. That will allow me to then start on the uh, drainage plumbing. That's why I'm down here. So let's get started. You guys have no idea how happy I am to be working on the cabin again. It's been far too long. Between going out of town and working on the carport and doing all of that, like I've really missed working on this. So while Spencer is working on getting the drainage plumbing and all of that going, I wanted to show you guys something that arrived the other day. And no, it's not our door, we're still waiting on that. This thing is so beautiful. Our wood burning stove has finally come in. It took several months to get here. I mean, obviously we're not at the point to install this yet, but I'm just happy it's here. Because you guys know, having a wood burning stove is something that we wish we would have done in our house. So it was definitely very important for us to do that in the cabin. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to having this in here and just not having to rely solely on electricity since we are going to have this totally be off grid. It'll just be nice having two sources of heat. Okay, did I tell you that you look uh, mighty fine today? Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I have a confession to make. <sighs> and no, it has nothing to do with this mustache. It has everything to do with this plumbing. I gotta say, if I feel like there is any room for uh, design change or uh, margin of error, I have a hard time pulling the trigger and doing things. So as far as this plumbing goes, like I've thought out this plumbing design and where the uh, vent stack and everything's gonna go and how everything's laid out. And I am highly confident of it, but I've just thought about it so much and worried that I'm gonna mess anything up that I just, I kind of like freeze and overanalyze everything. So I think today I'm just gonna pull the bandaid off and just, just start cutting holes. <laughs> oh, and let me know what you guys think of the mustache. Should it stay or should it go? What are you doing? Building. You're building. <laughs> You're so cute. All right, so a slight change of plans here. Originally, Spencer was planning on getting all the plumbing going and then doing the framing. He thought he needed to do that because he thought he needed to get all the plumbing done under that bathroom floor before he could lay the flooring and you know build up, frame the walls, and then do the ceiling joists and everything. But after seeing how little plumbing is going to be in that floor, he's decided that it's just easier to do all the framing first and then come back and just cut out like the two spots that he needs to to do the plumbing plus he needs the framing done because he needs to have the plumbing go up through the top of the wall and through a top plate which isn't installed yet so that's the plan now all that being said right now he's at the store going and grabbing a bunch of wood for that and while he is getting all of that i've decided that we are going to go on a picnic down to the meadow we haven't done that in a really long time and it's just such a pretty day and we have a bunch of rain coming so i really want to utilize the sunshine right now I feel like I'm with a little biker gang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is redemption. 
Ready, set, go. Go! Look up, Sam. You're doing great. <laughs> Yay, Cam! <gasps> Look at the bird. Did you see it? It was a yeah. little one. Yesterday when we were down here, we saw a hawk. Just close your eyes bah, and just listen. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> You're beacon. stage in here now <laughs> so just to give you guys an idea of what we're going to be doing in the bathroom obviously things are subject to change but the plan for right now this will be the doorway we're gonna have a pocket door all of the doors are gonna be pocket doors and then whenever you come in we're going to be having a 30 inch vanity right here that's the same size that we have in both of the bathrooms in our house and the idea behind that is obviously it's a good size sink and there is some counter space which is really nice and then right next to the sink we're going to be doing the toilet and we're going to be doing a compost toilet that way it has no tank or anything and it just is able to be pushed up even more against the wall just again giving more space since this is so small and it's a cabin so why do you need a flush toilet for right this thing is again going to be totally off grid so we just want to need uh, the least amount of things as possible the least amount of water power everything so that's what's going to be there and then on this end we're going to be doing a four foot tub we decided to do a tub instead of spencer building uh, out a whole custom just shower because well one we have kids and if any of our guests have kids i know having a tub is really nice with children so yeah, that's kind of the overall plan for right now. And like he said, this is pretty much the same size as the guest bathroom in our house, which is more than big enough. It has everything you need, so I think it's perfect. As Bo would say, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Isn't it weird the same size of the hallway now? Beauty <laughs> beauty. You know, it'd be nice too. It's like maybe we can put a mirror here, just so it can. Bounce the light. Means bounce the light. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bounce some light. Make it not feel so tight, you know? But honestly, again, I feel like this is a big hallway for this place. So all the bathroom walls are done. Just one more interior wall to do, and then it's on to ceiling joists. Till then, another day's through. Yeah, these two look much more friendly than the snapping turtle. <laughs> They're just enjoying the sunshine. Hi. All right, you guys, have a good day. <laughs> We need to get a new battery for this thing. Right now it's daddy powered. <laughs> So today, now that the uh, bathroom is all framed up, I'm going to work on the last uh, interior wall, which is for this bunk room right here. I was gonna make it a little bit smaller, just literally so you could only fit twin size bunk, uh, bunk beds in here, like 
pretty much in line with these uh, these windows. So you would only have a little over two, a uh, little under two feet in front. But I'm like, ah, let's push this wall back just a, a little bit as much as I, I, I physically can. So what I'm going to be doing with this utility closet that's on the other side of the bunk room is um, we're obviously going to have solar and whatnot in there. If you've been following this cabin build from the beginning, you know that having the solar in this utility closet was not the original plan. Initially, we plan on having the solar in the master bedroom closet, but we have now decided to move it into this utility closet. We've made a couple changes to the floor plan and we'll update you on that soon. But for now, let's get back to Sir Spencer. I feel like I need to call him that now since he has his fancy mustache. I gotta say this mustache is growing on me. Me too. This mustache just got me all flustered. Me too. <laughs> but the water uh, and all the water treatment is gonna be in there, so the water pump and all that stuff. With that, I think I'm going to go the direction of simplicity and just do like RV style stuff. So like, I wanna do an RV water pump, just a 12 volt water pump, stuff like that. So just keep it super simple, pretty primitive, and I mean, it is a cabin after all, so I think that's the direction I'm going. Don't you love how much wildlife we have around us? I don't know if that was sarcasm. I'm being serious. I mean, yeah, I don't like it when I almost step on copperheads <laughs> or water moccasins, but seeing snakes from afar, I find that really cool. There he goes. There goes the back little baby. All right, so my last interior wall is totally done. So now it's on to my top plates. Normally they're done with whatever lumber you're using. So in our case, it would have been two by fours. Well, I'm not gonna use two by fours. I'm gonna use three quarter inch plywood. I'm gonna have to obviously rip it down to three and a half inches to fit on top of the, uh, the walls. But the reason why I'm doing this is just to save as much space as possible so I can have as much insulation in the roofs and also, I've noticed whenever we built our house, it was very difficult to insulate behind the top plate and the top, uh, the top of the wall, essentially. So I'm going to try to make my life a little bit easier and cut down on the, the amount of wood. bathroom is totally framed. I don't know where I'm 
I'm going with this. <laughs> All the bathroom walls are done. Just one more interior wall to do, and then it's on to the ceiling joists. But for now, another day is through. Oh my god. Do that again. Yeah, we're gonna do that again. Come on. I'm like, what a fail. What even is this? I don't even know. And then we fail at doing it. In action. Till then, another day's through. <laughs> I can't laugh. Seeing you take that like big breath in before you blew the candle out. I had to give to it a good sure. I had to make sure it's out. Yeah, good job. I am very confident that people will be wondering what the heck they just watched. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs>